Okay guys, today we are making these gorgeous baskets right in time for Mother's Day. You can use them as cute little pot holders, a little trinket holders. So grab your kits and let's begin. So you are going to need some yarn, a plate, a pencil and some scissors, and then I have something circular so I can trace it for the base. The hardest part of this craft is actually formulating what size you want to make your basket and what I do is I take my circular object and I trace it around the bottom so I can have a per perfect circle and that's going to be the base of your basket and then what I'm going to do I'm actually going to cut some of this paper plate out because I only want my basket to be about this big um, and I don't want a ton of lip so I'm just going to follow this outside. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect. The next thing you're gonna do is draw a bunch of lines to act as the spokes. So I'm gonna, and one an odd amount. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. If you do an even amount, you're gonna have a weird looking basket. So here's seven, <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these along the lines. Again, does not have to be perfect. You will have time to make it look prettier. And then, you wanna make sure that there's a nice gap. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut two little slits Pull those out so there's a nice gap so when I fold this up <clears throat> there won't be any lip and that's where the yarn will go in and out so you're gonna do that on all of the lines that you just cut all right I am now ready almost now all you're gonna do is take these spokes and fold them at your base All right, there's the base of my basket. <clears throat> Here's the bones for my basket, and now it's time to start weaving. So I've got this gorgeous yarn here. And all you do is you're gonna place the yarn in the center, hold it down, and then just start going in and out, in and out. The first couple ones, weaves that you do, you're gonna wanna hold on to this string, um, but after about, oop, see, this is why. Meh. After about three, it should be good enough for you to let go. A couple things to remember while you're doing this. One, do not go super tight. If you go super tight, as your basket comes together, you're gonna have a gap between your yarn and your plate, and you don't wanna gap it. It's weird looking. Secondly, every 10 trips around the basket, oh, one of my hairs, that you go, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna stop and push down your yarn to make sure it's lined up like here. And you wanna make sure as you go that your, your basket is staying formed in the plate. If it gets flat, you're gonna have a flat bowl. The more together you come, it's going to be more like a cup. And that's pretty much it. Now you just go. I am actually going to put on my favorite TV show, sit back and relax while weaving this. Okay, so I'm done weaving. 
and I have a little string left and all I'm gonna do is tuck that in. I'm actually gonna do it, yeah, right there is good. So we'll tuck in the extra string. Come on, buddy. And then all you have left to do, you can either trim these to all be even, you can fold them down, in or out, or you can just leave them up. And, and there you are. You have a wonderful basket that you've made. You can even put glue in the bottom and add the bo a bottom 